Well, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a haul for you guys, and the reason being is everybody always asks me what kind of spice no put on my food, right? And um, I think it's important for me to share my way of doing some real good Jamaican cooking, the spices that I use, my techniques, and just be a sick, you know, blessing. So here we go. Most of the time you'll see me showing you guys Mrs. Dash, right? Mrs. Dash is an all season. It you can find it in any supermarket, right? Or any Orient or supermarket, but most of the time you can find it in the supermarket and this is what it looks like. So you could put this on chicken, fish, turkey, oxtail, just about any any meat, any poultry that you're cooking, you could use it. It is also MSG free and it's also salt free. So it's a very good thing to have in your kitchen. If you don't want to use any other spice, you could just use this. You can't even, don't even have to use black pepper. Once you have some Mrs. Dash in your kitchen, trust me, all for your veggies, cabbage, callaloo, pop chow, all of them things there, Mrs. Dash. You guys always hear my top of my for add my spice in there, which my pimento seed. Some people call it old spice, but it's pimento seed. And this is what it looks like. It's just some little round balls and thing. It smells so good. Now, you can put this in your oxtail, in your brown stew chicken, in your stew beef, in your just about anything where you have stew. Even your, you know, jerk chicken, jerk pork, you know, anything at all. This rice and peas, I make a mean rice and peas. This is the garlic that I use all the time. Every time I cook, I this may use. This is chopped garlic, and this is in vinegar, right? I choose to use vinegar because I cook with a lot of vinegar. Vinegar is not only healthy and cleansing for your body, but it can kick up any dish: Ox steel, jerk chicken, jerk pork, mutton, curry goat, all of them always add some garlic even when you're cooking veggies a little bit of garlic in there it's healthy cleanse the system cool in all of that garlic i don't pressure add some garlic trust me it's good now this is my oxtail seasoning right if you're cooking oxtails you're going to add this to it now when you add this to it the oxtail you don't have to add nothing else besides your onion and your tomato and your scallion and thyme and thing and your garlic of course you have to add garlic but once you add this you don't have to add no more spices because this has everything in it all right if you want your oxtail taste mean and you want your oxtail to turn up loud get some oxtail seasoning once again in a local supermarket depending on where you live right stop and shop Kroger's all of them places you'll get it otherwise you have to go into the Jamaican section or it's going to say oriental section you will find oxtail seasoning another thing I always have in my kitchen this is browning so many people ask me all the time do I have to use browning into my brown stew chicken the answer is you can make your own browning by using the brown sugar and burn it a little bit of water but it's very tricky because if you don't know how you're burning the sugar you'll end up with some bitter sugar some bitter browning i want people a bitter oxtail and a bitter brown stew chicken and a bit of meat so if you want to take it the easier way go to the supermarket and get you a bottle of browning sauce less stress now if you jamaican i am jamaican but guess what me not like a lot of spice, you know, but not because me not like spice that means that me can cook with it for people who come visit. So, back up. I always have this for the pepperhead them. This is the Jamaican choice. It is so good. It's just right. Perfect. You can put it on any meat, any fish, any oxtail, just about any dish. When I was growing up in Jamaica, we always have this in our kitchen. Now, some people come up foreign and forget so they used to use it, right? 
them at all about MSG and all them things eh? We used to use a lot of this in Jamaica. If you're from Kingston, you go downtown, Spanish Town Road, where you go find from the Igla them, them have seasoned salt, paprika, chicken seasoning, onion spice, you name it, them have it. I think it was like three dollars for a bag. Mm-hmm. Them know it. Them are pretending they don't know it, but them know it. No. If you don't want to use it in your food, you don't have to use it. But then again, if you want people to come back and eat your food, you ask steel, your jerk chicken, your jerk pork, and them thing there, you better make sure you have one pint in your shelf. But them have other alternatives, right? Now, this is the accent. This is the American brand, right? It's almost the same. The only difference is this not the MSG in it. This, you might find MSG in this. I'm not going to lie and tell you this. May, you may find MSG. If you try to keep up on the MSG, well, no buy it. But me, I look like I care about MSG. If you're a Jamaican, Trinidad and Guyanese, American, wherever you're from, this is the thing to have, curry powder. Okay, you use a curry powder in your curry chicken and your curry goat. All right, I'm many brands out there. I like this Jamaican choice. You have a nice flavor to it, and it definitely won't hurt your belly. Your local supermarket, they might have it, depending on where in the states you live. That sums that up. I am happy to share my my seasons and my spices from my kitchen with you and I hope you enjoyed it and I also hope that it was you know pretty much good information if you have any questions or if you want to know about any other spices that I didn't show you guys please comment um, send me a message follow me on Instagram Facebook don't be afraid just heal me up alright so once again guys have a blessed one. I love you all. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for all the love, all the big up, all the shout out. All right. You guys inspire me to continue to do what I'm doing. All right. So from my kitchen again, guys, to yours. Enjoy. Bye.